Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea, another piece of tea, another cup of tea, whatever you are deciding to have this tea, that whatever way everything is valid, you know. And girl, it is time to talk about Real Housewife of New York, bitch. Yes, because we have some tea. We have some information. And apparently our first official Housewife of New York, the reboot is out there. And also I have a little bit of tea on the old one. So stay tuned. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this uh, mess. Hey, yo, no. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Ooh, 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 ooh. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl. I am so excited for Real Housewife of New York. I am waiting for them. I am, look, I'm sorry, but I am excited about the reboot, okay? I want new blood. I want new storylines. I want to fall in love with new girls. I, I want, like, you know, like, uh, I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I used to love the old ones, but they were, they are so unreachable, you know, and they are already so big that it's like, ugh, maybe we just need some new blood. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, something like it's more approachable, more 2022. Like, honestly, like only trying to reach out to the girls of New, of New York. The only one who is actually like reachable is uh, Sonia Morgan. That's why I love her so much. But all of the other ones, it's like, they think that they're, they're president. You know, they think that, you know, no one can talk to them. It is so weird. Like when fans fan them, it's, they're like a little bit weird. It, it's a whole thing, you know? So anyways, you know, we have legacies. We have New York reboot, okay? So according to legacies, I have heard that the official cast will be Luan De Lesseps, Sonia Morgan, um, Jill Sarin, Dorinda Medley, Tinsley Mortimer, and uh, the model. What is her name? Alex? No. Um, Kelly. Kelly Benzimon. Okay. That's the rumor cast for legacies. Now, I don't know if that rumor is real or not, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, Luan De Los Eps and Sonia Morgan are filming their own show right now, so I don't know, unless it's going to finish soon and then we're going to move into the next one. I don't know exactly how that will work. Um, second of all, I mean, remember that we heard rumors that Bravo wanted nothing, nothing to do with Jill Sarin. So how is that going to work? Because they say that they didn't want anything to do with Jill Sarin. No idea. Now, Dorinda Medley did tell Kelly Dodd that she was going to be back into the show. So that's also a possibility. And we also have, you know, Tinsley Mortimer, who dropped out from Ultimate Girls Trip at the last time to do New York, allegedly, you know? So, I don't know. And Kelly Ben Simon, weirdly, I actually have always heard about Kelly joining the show, I think, since they first came with the rumors a long time ago. So, I have no idea. It is possible, maybe, I don't know. Now, for the two of them that I am actually, actually three of them, Two, are, I am very surprised. Actually, one, I am, like, very surprised. The other one, I'm, like, surprised, but not much. And the third one is, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we saw that coming. But apparently, you know how everyone was on pause? Well, apparently, they reach out the cancel status, okay? Apparently, they are not on pause anymore. They have been officially, officially fired. Yep, you hear that right. So... For the first one, which is not surprise, is Miss Ebony K. Williams. So the rumors are that Bravo was like, girl, did you really, really thought that you were going to come back? <laughs> you know, like they were like, mm, were you holding your breath? And we know that Ebony was not holding her breath. So whatever, that's not a surprise. Allegedly, she is fired officially. Then we have 
Leah McSweeney, which I'm kind of sad. And I know that many of you don't really like Leah McSweeney, but I really like her on her first season. I I got that her second season, she was grieving the loss of her grandmother and she was not drinking anymore. And I, I, but I don't know. I think she is good TV, but for some reason she was not really mash, mashing with these girls, you know, and, and the old ones. And she was not going to be bringing to the new reboot because they didn't want to bring anyone old to the new reboot. So, of course, she's not strong enough to be on Legacies. Well, apparently, not only that, according to Bravo Bees, it says that Leah McSweeney was given a final chance to redeem herself by starring in Peacock's third season of The Real House with Ultimate Girl Strip, and it ended up backfiring. The producers were not pleased with Leah McSweeney at all. Her performance was very poor and very bad, so she will not be staring on the reboot or legacies or absolutely anything. So she is also fire, okay? The rumors are that she got into this huge, huge fight, uh, which... You know, there are even rumors that she at some point pick up like elephant poop and throw it to like another housewife. So I'm thinking like, girl, first, let it be true, because that's the kind of TV that we want to watch. Second of all, it's like, I don't get it. So is she like, because she's not boring at all. So what is she too volatile? Is she too explosive? Or is that some of the other girls don't want to film with Leah McSweeney. What, what's really the deal behind not having her back? Anyways, the rumors are that she is fire as well. And for the third one, which I'm really surprised on the sense that I, I'm still, you know, until I didn't hear any everything, I'm sorry, until I don't hear something specifically from Bravo, I don't know if I will believe it or not, but... I will understand why this is happening, and it's none other than Miss Ramona Singer. So, according to uh, also Bravo Beast, Ramona Singer has been fired from Bravo TV, from Bravo, and from Real House of New York. Uh, Ramona Singer will not be featured in the Legacy cast, nor will she be incorporated into the reboot either. So, she is done. So, which is, like I was saying, I don't know, it's like surprising because she is an OG and she is, you know, has been there forever. Uh, not surprising because her last season, she was just not good for anyone, you know. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I I don't know. I feel like I am not going to be missing Ramona anymore. I guess. Only, honestly, the only one that I really, really miss is Sonia Morgan. I don't know why. I think that's the only one that's really funny to watch. Now, there are these rumors uh, uh, coming from page six. So it's kind of like official. And we have our first official housewife that has been cast. According to page six, this is not negotiations or anything. Like she is cast. She is signed. The contract is signed, you know? So um, apparently her name is uh, Lisi Savetsky. She is a fashion influencer, okay? And apparently she is uh, married to this very famous pa uh, plastic surger surgeon. And she has three kids. And I think, if I'm right, I think I heard somewhere that she was being, she was filming for the reboot of The Real Houses of Dallas. And that didn't work out. And then she ended up moving back to New York. And now she's cast for New York. So, kind of interesting, you know. I don't know, I don't know too much about this girl. But let's see what she's going to bring to the plate. So... There you have it. That's the all whole tea that I have around New York. Let me know what you think on the comments below about this whole mess. Are you excited? What do you think about these surprises? What do you think about the reboot? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.